Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to show you how to reboot your computer into safe mode. We've had quite a few um, requests for a video on how to do this. It's actually very, very easy, but if you've never done it before, obviously it's foreign to you, but it's very, very simple. Now, I'm actually running this in VMware, which is like a sandbox. It's the only way I can show you my computer rebooting without kind of ruining the video. Um, what you're going to want to do is go to your start and go to your shutdown. You're going to want to restart. When you do so, and I want to explain it before I do it, because with VMware, it's actually just going to load a new image up. So it's not going to reboot as slowly as most computers. It's actually very, very fast for this. So you'll hit the restart, and then in, usually on your screen, you'll see one of two things, a bunch of white letters or sometimes a splash screen. If you've got a gateway, a Dell, one of the brand name computers might have a splash screen. Once you see those, you want to start tapping F8, and you can pretty much just go tap, 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 tap. And then you do that, you'll get a screen prompt asking you what you want to do. So let's show you how that works. Hit restart. I'm going to start tapping F8 faster and sooner than you would have to because of my situation here. And there it is. So this is the screen you'll see. You have quite a few choices. You can see we got 10 choices here. You don't need to worry about any of them except for basically these three. Safe mode, safe mode with networking, and safe mode with command prompt. If you're scanning for malware or a virus problem, that's why you need to get into safe mode, which is very common because what this will do is allow you to start Windows without startup items, drivers, processes. So real deep malware and viruses are difficult to remove simply because you can't stop them from running when you're trying to clean them. That's why they always come back. Hence, safe mode. So normally I would recommend you update any antivirus, anti-malware software before you do this, in which case you can do safe mode. This way, you don't have any internet. Now, typically I've found it doesn't really matter too much if you have the internet or not. If you haven't updated your software or perhaps malware has blocked your software from updating, then you want to go with safe mode with networking. Now you're going to see a whole bunch of text run by on the screen. Nothing to worry about. And when this pops up, it's going to be a pretty ugly looking version of Windows with usually big icons and no graphics, nothing pretty, like I said, because nothing's loading at all. So it'll take, depending on your computer, it can take a little while to get started. So just stick with it. And as you can see, it's nothing too pretty here. They get the ugly old start button. This will pop up the help and support. We won't be needing that. As you can see, it went smaller on my screen now because there's no video driver, so it's not going to load a full screen anymore. It's got a different uh, desktop resolution. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Now you can come in here, and everything you need to get at will be where you left it, whether it's an icon, whether it's in your start menu. And basically, you can run any of the tools you need to do. And once you go to start, everything's still here. Restart. When you come back, it will start Windows back normal, and you can see where you're at. Now, maybe your keyboard isn't working properly, giving you the difficulty of not being able to actually restart with the F8 key. You can come into your control panel, administrative tools, I think system configuration. So you can go to selective startup and remove these and try it. Or you can just go to your diagnostic startup right here, which loads just your basics, devices and services, as it says. Uh, there's safe boot here. I guess if depending on how difficult your problem is, you could use either one of these. So I would suggest probably a diagnostic. Well, services could be a problem too. So let's go over here to boot, do safe mode. Probably minimal would be good. You could click OK. And once you click that, it's going to ask you to restart. And you restart. And basically, you'll come back to what you're seeing here. And then once you're finished, you'll be able to reboot. So there you go. That is how you get rid of some of these difficult malware and viruses by simply booting into safe mode. Just as simple as that. As always, I really appreciate you watching. And we'll talk to you next time.